Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in tonight. Uh, back with a video for the Fantasy Rip League, which uh, the regular season four has concluded. They did four heats, weeks one through four, five through eight, uh, nine through 12, and 13 through 16. Each of those four heats had a winner, and now the four winners are facing off in the semis this week and then the finals next week. Um, I won heat one, so I'm in the semifinals. And we decided to do a, something a little different. Instead of opening uh, packs or boxes to determine our lineups for this week, we're going to use our PC. So I thought that would be a fun way to do things. So did everyone else. Um, so you'll see some videos. I'm going up against uh, Ed and Chuck over at Silver Sport. I think Ed's putting together the lineup. So I'd be interested to see what he's got going on. Uh, if for some reason you don't know about their channel, I'll link it in the description below. Go over there and subscribe. Um, speaking of subscriptions, we're coming up on 400 subscribers, getting very, very close. And um, the giveaway for that, which I actually haven't announced, is going to be a 2021 Absolute Football Blaster Box. So if you're interested in kaboom hunting, or you just want to rip some retail, or hell, if you want to resell it, I don't really care. Um, that's the giveaway prize. It should be here, I would think, uh, next week, probably, maybe end of this week. And um, I'll make an announcement video here in the coming uh, three, four, five days about how to enter and um, how to win once we get to 400. So without further ado, let's get into this. You can see the multipliers here. Base cards are one, parallels are two, numbered cards are three, uh, patch cards four, Bookend, so if it's serial numbered, like number 1 out of 10, or 10 out of 10 is 5 points. Autograph 6, jersey number 7, 1 of 1, 10, and a case hit, which I've written here, is 8. I actually recorded this video last night with a completely different lineup because I didn't know that they had added uh, the case hit modifier, which is actually going to help me greatly, so I'm sorry, Ed. Um, so first position, I have a few case hit QBs, but decided to go uh, with Aaron Rodgers. This is from 2020 Prism Stained Glass. This is actually not technically a case hit. It's a one in five case hit. So it's actually more rare than a case hit. One in every 60 boxes. Um, Rodgers is playing the Vikings this week. He is, I think, the number one quarterback over the last five weeks in fantasy. Or at least top two or three. But I think he's number one. He's got five straight top ten finishes. He lost to Minnesota earlier this year. Um, he's only thrown two picks since week one. I think that he is going to have at least a three touchdown game, even if the yardage isn't there. I think the touchdowns will be there against Minnesota. So Aaron Rodgers times eight. I mean, that's an easy one, I think. Tight end here. Um, I'm going to go with Gronk. Uh, Gronk, obviously uh, not on the Patriots anymore, but I uh, can still get a 6x multiplier for Gronk. With this autograph, um, he had a little bit of a rough game last week, but game script didn't really dictate his usage. Um, and I think that perhaps this week um, he'll get a bit of a, a few better looks. The only other card in consideration was a number George Kittle, but 3x on that. Um, I had to go with 6x on Gronk. So even if he has a mediocre game, tight ends aren't, you know, don't score a ton of points anyway. So I can live with that. Uh, skip around here real quickly. Uh, we're going to go with Kyle Duggar at a 6x for our uh, our IDP, technically. Uh, don't have any kicker autos. So I'm um, going to go with Kyle Duggar as our defensive player. He's you know one of our best do-it-all defensive players on the Patriots. Um, you know, breaks up passes, guy plays in the box, can, can, can cover. Uh, gets a lot of tackles, so I think that uh, he's a pretty safe play at a 6x. And along those same lines, Patriots defense has a very juicy matchup against Jacksonville this week. So for the def defense, I'm going to play the Patriots D, and we've got Kyle Duggar here, but this is a 1 of 1, so this is going to give me uh, times 10 on the Patriots D performance. So with a pick six, that could be a pretty lucrative um, uh, score. Okay, up next, I've got running back here. Two running back slots, sticking with the theme here with the Patriots. 
Damian Harris um, had a monster game last week. Three touchdowns, now has 12 on the season. Has been a bit of a workhorse when Ramondre Stevenson is out, and even when he's in there, he's um, his usage has been you know 50, 60 percent. So I'm going to monitor the, the um, uh, Stevenson's usage, or well, his uh, plan to play this week. I guess he's on co he's got COVID or is on the COVID list. So you know he may not have his wind, and I imagine that Harris is going to be a big benefactor of that. So I've got Harris here, 6X. This card's number to 75, 64 out of 75. Really clean look with the the bluish, uh, colorish match, matchish, I guess. Um, so we're going to go with Damian Harris for one running back slot times six. Other one, going to go with DeAndre Swift uh, times eight. Swift should be back against the Seahawks this week. Uh, had a, uh, I think a bruised shoulder. Um, sprain shoulder and um but he wants to come back i think campbell actually despite the record has that locker room uh together and those guys want to play hard for him as you saw against the cardinals two weeks ago and the falcons last week they don't quit and um swift is kind of a player who fits that mold i don't know that he gets a lion's share of carry so it's, it's possible that i change this one out if i need to for someone else but for the time being, I'm going to put him in since it is a times eight multiplier. Last two cards here. One of my receivers is going to go with Michael Pittman. Just a patch card here. Um, numbered out of 50 is from Phoenix last year. I think Pittman's a decent play. Had a good week last week. Um, despite Wentz's struggles, he's sort of like the, the, the number one option in that offense through the air. Now, Wentz probably is not going to play this week. Ellinger looks to be the, the option. So I have a, a Brandon Cooks patch card as well. And if he's playing, he was out last week. If he's playing, I'll probably put Cooks in. But for the time being, I'm going to go with Pitt, Pittman and uh, hope that maybe Wentz returns from uh, the COVID-19 list prior to the game. All right, then the final one, another case hit here. From uh, 2020 Phoenix is the Phoenician set, which is probably one of my favorite insert sets. Uh, Devontae Adams, easy pairing here with Rodgers. Maybe a little bit of a risky stack. I could have gone, um, well, no. I mean, he was he was my best option in terms of um, receiver. I could have gone with a different quarterback. I have a couple other case hit quarterbacks, but I think this is a good stack against Minnesota. They've shown a bit of weakness in the secondary. Um, so pretty happy with that lineup. We've got Rodgers times eight, Swift times eight, Harris six, Gronk six, Adams eight, Pittman five, Duggar six, and Duggar, uh, Patriots defense ten. So I think it's a pretty formidable, formidable lineup. What do you guys think? I um, think I could take Ed down, take a look at his lineup, go watch his video. Uh, should be out tomorrow. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll see you back here with another Fantasy Replete video next week. And uh, stay tuned for all the information on the giveaway. Have a good night.